This is Vicki Waldrop here to show you how to do Condi Photoshop templates by downloading the file and importing it into your Photoshop application using the templates here that we make at Condi. We're going to go to the browser and we're going to type in Condi.com. And we're going to go to support. You're going to log in using your un your unique uh, username and password. If you don't have a username and password, your account manager can help you. We're going to continue to the support members area. We're going to click on templates is one way, or we can type it up here, our application number, which is our product number. Your product number is located on your uh, invoice. Um, we can type it here. We're going to use the U6034. We're going to do a search and that's going to pull up the product where we can see the exact uh, dim dimensions and we can see the uh, versions. We can see also uh, what the product looks like on a visual before we download to be sure that we have the right item. So we select the item template, we save the file. Now it's in our downloads, so let's go and get it. I'm just going to X out of this, click on my start, go to my downloads from here, and scroll down and find the U6034. There it is. And we just I'm just gonna save it to my desktop, which I can right click and move it or I can just drag it, drop it, and it's on my desktop now. Um, I've already created a folder where I have an image and this exact download already in here. So I'm just gonna move this to the side and we're gonna work from the folder here. Alright, what you get with the download, if you right click on the zip file, which a zip file contains documents that would include um, with the with the templates it's going to include um, Photoshop, CorelDRAW, uh, Adobe Illustrator. It's going to include various versions of those applications so that you can uh, utilize them from whatever software that you have purchased or is on your uh, located on your Mac or PC. So we're going to do an extract all this is telling me where the extraction is going to go, which is where I want it to go. If that's not the case, you're going to click Browse and then enter in the location. And I'm just going to say Extract. That gives me a folder with all those uh, files uh, ready to uh, access. So here's my folder. This is my zip folder. This is the folder I want. Now I can see all the files that uh, that zip folder contained. Now we're using Photoshop today, so what we want to do, either one of these applications will uh, can be used in Photoshop. This is a PDF and this is the uh, PSD. And we're going to use a PSD, so we can double click on it, which would open it, or we can right click and open with. And uh, if we right click and open with, then we choose our Photoshop application. and that's going to give me uh, my uh, template. Keep in mind that a template is nothing more than a keyhole. Um, a keyhole means that you place the image on the background layer and you can see I have two layers here. There's several ways to do a template in Photoshop. I'm going to show you what I think to be the easiest way. Um, I've created two layers for those people who want to click on the background layer and then just go and uh, import their image. Um, actually open, you would click open. And then um, there's an easier way that I think works well. Keep in mind also that the templates made here or any template um, that we have does not reshape your image in any, si in any way. 
uh, it doesn't resize it, it doesn't um, form it to the template. You have to have the image prepared, sized, and ready to go into the template uh, prior to going to uh, to get it. So you definitely want to prepare your image and then uh, get your template and then place it in there. So we're going to do a file and we're going to scroll down and left click on place. And that uh, gives me a browser to go and find the image. I've selected an image already and uh, if I weren't in my folder uh, or where I needed to be to get the image I would come over here and use my key uh, icons to, to get to wherever uh, you know, I store my image or wherever you store your image. Um, I've got my image right here. I'm going to use this image. So I'm going to left click on it and I'm going to click left click on place. And what that does is places the image inside or contains it inside the uh, template which is on a layer um, that it's created. Now you may be able to see these X's here. That means that it, it's at an editing state. And an editing state means that yeah we've got the template in there and uh, it's given us an opportunity to size it if for some reason it's not an exact fit or if it's not centered or, or, or positioned correctly for your printing. So I'm gonna, you can see these gaps here, so I'm just going to uh, place my cursor over one of these corners, any one of these corners would work, and I'm going to uh, hold my shift key and uh, drag this out. And why do I hold my shift key? My shift key will help contain, uh, uh, constrain, should I say, the proportions of my image so that it doesn't uh, make it um, oblong or obscure it in any way. Once I have my image positioned correctly and I've got everything uh, centered in the way I want it, you have a delete, which is a no-go, cancel, or you have a check, which means, yeah, this is good, I'm going to go ahead and click that, and uh, because I think that's, that's exactly where uh, I would put it if I were fixing to sublimate this. I'm going to click that check mark, and uh, that releases it from the editing state and now I'm ready to uh, print. And that's how you use a Condi template for Photoshop. This would work in any Photoshop version. Uh, the, uh, the actual place to uh, place your image is located under the file and then place for any version of Photoshop whether it be the CS versions or the element versions. And uh, once you have the image placed in there and uh, you're ready to print. So if you have any questions on how to do this, again, my name is Vicki and I'm in the tech support, I'm sorry, tech support department here at Condi and uh, I can answer those questions. Anyone in support should be able to answer those questions. You can visit us at Condi.com or you can call us at 1-800-826-6332 and uh, speak with anyone in our department. We should be able to help you without any problems, walk you through how to do this. We also have the Condi TV site and I also want to include that we have documents online on how to do this too. Again, this is Vicki with Condi Systems Tech Support. Thank you for your time.